National Biscuit Company, bakers of America's finest ready-to-eat cereal, Nabisco shredded wheat, and your favorite crackers and cookies, such as Oreo cream sandwich, presents Burr Tilstrom, creator of Kukla, Ali, and all the Kuklapolitan players with Fran Allison in Kukla, Fran, and Ali. Now, come on, dear. Now, come on. You've been in there long enough now. Here, let me give you a little rinse. <laughs> Dolores, get down here now. I've got to rinse off. Here you are. Let's look at the ears. <laughs> Dolores, now stop it, dear. <laughs> Dolores, come on. Let me look at your ears. Oh, that one's not so good. Come on now. Here we go. Here. I didn't hurt. Now stop it. <laughs> Shut up. Is that your mother? No, I'm not going to wash your hair today. Not right now. Now, here, let me look at the other one. Oh, got to get that clean. Got to get that clean in there. <laughs> no, hold still. A little rinse water. There you are, baby. Now it's fine. Oh, rinse off your back. Rinse off your back. <laughs> Don't splash the Dolores, stop. <laughs> Dolores, you're splashing all the water out of the tub. Now stop it. Let's behave yourself. Ow, ow. I know you want to make waves, but not now. Now please. Now just stay right there. I right, get the towel. Be a good little girl. We're going to have a big surprise for you today. Be a good little girl, you know. We're going to have something very special. Got some nice uh, Nabisco Oreos all ready for you. Remember that. Nabisco Oreos. Come on, Adelers, come on. Sweetheart, let's all get nice and dry, towel, then on the radiator, and it's nice and warm. Now, come on, sweetheart. Come on, dear. Cousin Oliver. Come on. Come on, baby. Now, <laughs> now you're not going to be cold. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> good. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, now, we're going to get you a nice little night dress on, your little flannel night dress, because it's kind of going to be kind of chilly tonight, and we don't want you to be cold. And then we'll settle down, and Fran will come in maybe and tell us a nice story, and oh, and we'll have some songs, and we'll have a lovely evening together, won't we? I don't want to want Oreo, Oreo. Yeah, you'll get your Nabisco Oreo. Now, just behave yourself now. Come on, dear. Downstairs. Downstairs. That's a girl. Now, there you are. Oh, yeah, that's the girl. Well, you stay right there now. Put on your nightgown. You can do it yourself. I'll clean out the tub. Noisiest plumbing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> but it's working. That's good. Boy, what a whirlpool, though. <sighs> oh, she loves her little thing. Be a good girl, Dolores. That's a girl. Nothing like a portable bathtub, I always say. <laughs> Water, she's still there. You good girl, Dolores. Ario, Ario. Ibushka, Ario. Yes, dear, in a minute, in a minute. <sighs> Brian, dear. Yes. And listen, when you come in, will you bring in a package of uh, Oreos? Oh, yes, I would will. You, would you, sweetheart? Mm -hmm. I promised Dolores some for taking your bath. You know, good girl. Here they are, dear. Hmm? Oh, thanks, sweetheart. Okay. <laughs> That's wonderful. Why, you're in such a good mood today. Oh, I've Dolores is taking her bath now. Oh, bless her heart. She's been real wonderful. She played outside mm. this time. Oh, she got the, <laughs> such rosy cheeks. She and the, and uh, Mercedes and Cecil Bill mm -hmm. and even Fletcher. They built a little snow fort. Mm -hmm. And they had such good times. Well, it was all right for her to go out. It was a little windy, but she was wrapped up real good. The snow is awful wet and mm -hmm. kind of kind of sloppy, but I think she enjoyed it. Where's Coop? Did you see him? I haven't seen him all day. Yeah. I, I haven't seen him there, but the kitchen's all locked up. Well, I saw a do not disturb sign on the outside. Yeah, I haven't been able to get down there. He must be down there cooking. It's his week to cook, hmm? It is. I wonder what we're going to have for dinner. I'm getting so yeah, hungry. No, I hope it's something real hot and nice. <laughs> I bet you. <laughs> oh, well, listen. Now, I promised Dolores that you would uh, tell her a story. All right. Would that be nice? Sure, I love to tell her a story. Oh, friend, you should hear her. So cute, she sang a little song for this. She did, really? Jack's taught her little Bo Peep. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah, when she, when she comes Ollie, up... I not just because she's your cousin, because I'd say it no matter whose cousin she was, she is a brilliant child. I think she is. Oh, she's so quick to catch on to things. Just wonderful. Jack, uh, Jack's been teaching her, you know. Mm. Wow. Whatever it is, it's real good. Yeah, what do you suppose that is? I don't know. It's kind of a brown. Real sweet, nice smell. Sweet smell. No. Mm. What that could be? I don't know. <laughs> Whatever it is, it must be good. I'm going to see if I can go down and get in the kitchen. Okay, well, and when... Uh... When Dolores is all ready, I'll, uh, I'll let you know. Uh, is she all uh, dressed for dinner? Well, she, oh, she's, yeah, she's going to put on her final nightgown tonight. So she, then, she's going to, she, can, she can eat that way tonight, can't you? Certainly she Maybe we can, can build a little fire tonight, because they say it's going to get cold. We can build a little fire after it's supper. Coming. Put a round thing a few stones. Put on a little bath robe. Yeah. We'll let her stay up a little longer. Yeah, maybe we can have dessert out in the out in the front of the fireplace. I'd love that. I'd be, I'd... I'll help. Real good. Oh, hmm. Gosh, that Koopa, he really killed me. That's a surprise. Fran! Yes? Have you got a straw, please? Uh... A lemonade straw or a... No, a broom straw, dear. Well, I can get one. Would you please? Because I need one. Oh, Jack. Hi, Cooper. What you doing? <laughs> would you like to know? I would like I'm to I'm going to tell you. Don't you come into the kitchen, because I didn't ask, Beulah. Oh. Did you take it? Well, there it is. Okay, thanks a lot. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Two hundred and thirty three, two hundred and thirty four, two hundred and thirty five. Who took a straw out of my broom? <laughs> Who took a straw? Jack! Don't look at me, Bueller. Fran? Who took a straw out of my broom? Two hundred and thirty six and two hundred and thirty seven. Why, Fran, dear! I needed it. I know, dear, but you must let me know. Because I, I might have taken off in that broom this afternoon, and without those three straws, why, I the did, I didn't balance compensation would be way off, and I might crash land. I didn't take your flying broom. I took your practice broom. Oh, well, that's all right. That's all right. doesn't make so much difference. It's no, all right. because you then. can practice without them now and see how it works. Well, I suppose it'll be different, and I'll have to compensate for the loss. But you can do that, Beulah. Sure I can, dear. Will you? I just don't want to, but oh. I will. Okay. You stay out of here, Beulah Witch. Oh, I'm following my nose. You stay out of here now. So I'm ready. 
already. What you cooking? Never mind. You stay out of here. <laughs> wow. Oh, that's good. Whew. I'm getting hungrier and hungrier, Fran. <laughs> well, I think Dolores is already, sweetie. All right. Yeah, so uh, Dolores, dear. <laughs> hey, Fran, maybe I could get her to sing a solo. Oh, do you think she would? I mean, she might for you. Okay. You, you ask. All right. Who's the cutest thing that she sings? I bet it is. Dolores! Hello, sweetie. How are you? Oh, you look so clean and pretty. Did you have fun in the snow? Good. Snowball! Yes, did you throw one? Wonderful. Well, you were so good today. You came in when we called you. She took her bath so nicely, too. Yeah. Oreo! Oh, yes. another word, she says. And what a beautiful one for her to choose. Oh, oh, Oreo. Dolores. The slogan. She says a slogan. What? Oh, oh, Oreo. Isn't that, Isn't that Oh, she's oh, such oh, a brilliant oh. child. Nabisco will be proud of you today, dear. Dolores. <laughs> Dolores, uh, Ollie tells me that you have a little song that you sing. Hmm? Would you sing it for me? Hmm? You know, dear. Little Bo Peep. I love to Little Bo Peep, are you, Jeep? No. <laughs> oh, Dolores. We want to hear you sing it, dear. Will you? Start it, Jack. Maybe she will. Oh, come on, Dolores. Come on. It's just lovely. Wouldn't you like for our friend to tell us a nice story now? Shall I tell you about... Um... <laughs> it's a surprise, darling. It's a surprise. Cookie, what cookie? Well, you'll get your cookie. What's cookie? What's cookie? Yeah, that's what she said. What's cookie? <laughs> What's cookie? <laughs> I don't know if we should encourage that kind of thing. Well, Dolores, you wait a little while. You wait, you let's find a, nice... Now for a lovely story. Hmm? A lovely story. Yeah, uh, tell you about the three bears. About the three bears. Once upon a time in a beautiful forest, there lived a family of bears. What? I don't know what kind of bears. Forest bears. Whatever kind of bears live in the forest. Give you bear? Just bears. I don't know. It was a daddy bear and a mother bear. Daddy bear, daddy bear. Daddy. And a mother bear. And a little bear, a little, real little bear. So one morning, oh, I, how little a little bear is, I don't really know. So uh, one morning, the mother bear got up and went in the kitchen and made a big pot of porridge. <laughs> a big pot of porridge. Yes. <laughs> well, I haven't come to the funny part yet. There really isn't any funny part in this. It's just a little story. So uh, she uh, she gave the daddy bear a big bowl of porridge because he was a big daddy bear, and she gave herself a middle-sized bowl because she was middle-sized, and a little bowl for the little bear. <laughs> so they sat down to the table. <laughs> it isn't. Kitty, kitty, kitty. So this sat down. <laughs> I guess you don't want to hear the story. <laughs> so they sat down at the table, and the daddy bear tasted his... Peek, 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 peek. No, no, don't pay attention to peek now. <laughs> the daddy tasted his soup, and he said, Oh, goodness, this is too hot. 
And so uh, the mother bear said, when she tasted her, said, mine is too hot, too. And the little bear just went along with the two of them. And so they said they would go out for a walk and come back, and then the porridge would be just right. So they did. On the right. Porridge. porridge, you know what porridge is? It's a, Certainly. It's a, very good for you. Very good for you. So, on the other side of the forest, there lived a little girl with her mother and father. And her mother... Oh, Dolores! No, well, her name... No, it wasn't Dolores. Dolores! But, but, but her hair was the same color as yours. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yes, it was And dull. she wore little ribbons on her hair. And her mother said, don't go in the forest, because although the forest is very beautiful, it's strange, and you might lose your way, and what will we do without our attention, little girl? Dear. So don't go in the forest. So one day, as a matter of fact, it was the very same day. Don't push your cousin Oliver. He can push harder than you can. She walked into the forest a little farther than she had intended, and all of a sudden, <laughs> hiccups? What did she have that gave her the hiccups? Dolores, now stop pretending. Are they for real, or are, are you... Oh, she's just playing now. She does that all the time. Okay. All of a sudden, one tree... <laughs> <laughs> Psychosomatic. I don't think that's very nice. I'm sorry. Hiccups. <laughs> All of a sudden, one tree looked <coughs> just like another. <laughs> he? One tree, one tree, one tree. Go on, Fran. Oh, come on, dear. Forgot which tree I was beside. One tree looked just like another, and she realized she was lost, so she went around a little bend and down a little hill, and all of a sudden she came to a little house. And she went up to the door and knocked on the door, and nobody came to the door. So the door was just open a little bit, so she thought, well, I'll just go in anyway, which she did. And there she saw on... Why oh, on the table! See the dice chair! Too big! Here, Mama chair! I just... Mom, see the baby chair! Too big! Gee! Oh, up there! Bed bed! I just guess we'll have to get some other kind of story. She just does she knows she all knows those. She knows all the stories. Song, 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 song. Sing, 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 sing. Hmm? Sing, sing. Sing, sing. Oh, heavens. Dolores, where did you hear that word? She owe oh, a song. She wants oh, a song, Ollie. Oh. No. Well, maybe we should do something like that. What would you like to hear? You want to hear a song, Dolores? I'd like to hear a little song. Uh, oh, hmm? maybe one of the little uh, Happy Mother Goose songs. That'd be kind of cute. Like, um... Get one that has a lot of action. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, how about ride, uh, ride a cock horse? Ride a cock horse, horse to every cross. Jack, oh, That's I good. start that, don't I? <clears throat> don't look at me. <laughs> ride a cock horse to Banbury Cross to see a kind lady on a white horse. Rings on her fingers and bells on her toes. She shall have music wherever she goes. Ride a cock horse to Banbury Cross to see a fine lady on a white horse. The rings on her fingers and bells on her toes. She shall have music wherever she goes. Ride, 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 ride to Banbury, Banbury Cross to see a kind lady upon a white horse. Ride, 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 ride to Banbury, Banbury Cross to see a kind lady, a very kind lady, on a white horse. Girl, it's slipping down. Here. It's too big for it. Yes, I oh. think it is a little loose around yeah. here. Hey, dear. That's better. Dolores, now I think you better rest just a little bit before... Curl up in a big chair and then... 
You go and see what Kukla's cooking. Yes, go and see what Kukla's doing. Oh, thank you. I guess she's just growing. We just have to go along I with suppose. it. I wonder what in the world Kukla is cooking. I don't know. It's wonderful. Ooh, it's getting stronger and stronger. Ooh. I'm going to go down and see. If you find out, will you let me know? Sure, I'll let you know. Okay, tell me. I'll call mm -hmm. you. Will okay. you come on the run? I certainly will. Cook! What are you doing? What? <gasps> Fred, come a running! Oh! Careful, they're still a little warm. Oh! Gee, don't they smell good? Mmm! <gasps> Heavenly! Cupcakes! Uh -huh. Yeah. You made them your very own self? Uh -huh. Aren't you the one? Uh, 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 what cup? I can't quite. Uh, good. Uh. Nabisco <laughs> Graham cracker cake. Cupcake. Is that what? Oh, it smells. Did you so make good. those yourself? I certainly did. They look real crusty and nice on the top. You try one, Fran, will you? <laughs> oh, the top came off. Oh, well, I'll. Try another one. Hmm? Oh, don't try that. Try that. Try this Cooper, one. maybe you fill the cups a little too full, do you think? Let me taste. Well, that tastes wonderful. Mmm. Mmm, oh, delicious. Wonderful. Cooper, wherever. Oh, great. Oh, but they're spoiled. You know what you did? What did I do? Well, I'm glad you made them as big as you did. But you know what happens? What? When you fill a little cup too full, uh, then they run over, you see. You and then they they fasten themselves around the, the edge, and then they, it sticks when you pull but them. That doesn't hurt them. They taste so good. Because you get so much more that way. Maybe we could maybe we could um oh, we could take the top off of each one and then turn them upside down and put some whipped cream in between and then put the top back on or something. Like I tell you what we do. Yes, do that. Put put whipped cream in here. Put the little hat back on and put a little whipped cream hat on the hat. Oh, that'd be wonderful. Oh, oh they're so good. good. Oh, they're great. I have some more. Some more downstairs, only it's like a, a little layer of cake. I just made these for us special. Oh, they're so oh, good. They're You're very good. smart. How did you find out how to do it? Oh, that's a surprise. I didn't tell you anything about it. Oh, I'd like to know all about oh, it. Oh, could you tell me now? Yep, right now. Here's a little book. What's this? 75 Delicious Desserts. It, it comes from Nabisco. It's yes. a recipe book. Look at it. May I see it? Oh, how beautiful it is. Oh, it is hey, Don't wonderful. touch it. I'll just put it right over here. Ooh, it's so Cakes? The Bisco Graham Cracker Lara Cake? That's it. That's the first recipe in the book. Oh, what do you know? Isn't that oh, wonderful? Look at those pictures. Oh, boy. Ooh, boy. Oh, boy. Look at that different... Oh, that... Steamed fruit and nut pudding. My goodness. Vanilla wafer. Banana pudding. Paradise. Oh, look at this beautiful... Apple thing. crisp, too. Oh, oh, isn't what, that... What's that? Good. That must be the... Apple crisp, must it not? No, I don't think that's the apple... That, that's it, Louie. Paradise pudding? No, that's the pineapple cream graham cracker. Kind of look, oh, really? Gra yes, isn't that wonderful? Oh, it's so good. It's one of these wonderful, wonderful recipes. Orange huh? pudding. Yeah, and they're all made with different Nabisco products. Refrigerator cakes. See? Chocolate velvet icebox cakes. Strawberry Maybe snacks. I could try that. I want to try one. Let me try one. No, wait, we can all get these if you want to. Well, what? Get the little books. Get them for absolutely nothing if you want to. Well, just tell me exactly how. Well, I'll tell you just exactly how. Oh, Here, help pretty. me take this down. Okay, well, I'll help you eat them, too. Well, you took my little hat. Thank you. <laughs> Here, Fran. This is the way anybody can get them. Little books. Butterscotch pecan. Just them. Whoops. Oh, cool, honestly. Nabisco. You write to Nabisco. Box, box 700, New York, 46, New York. Nabisco, Box 700, New York, 46, New York. And and they all sent you one absolutely free. No charge oh, at all, just right. Wonder. And, oh, really, I'm so anxious to try all the different recipes. Oh, maybe each of us could, could try a special one, all the Puka Pouton. Oh, wouldn't that be fun? All right. Well, listen, I was thinking that maybe Hugh Downs yeah. would just repeat that address for us. Hugh, would you do it for us over there, please? I would indeed, Kukla. Friends, don't forget the handsome new illustrated booklet Nabisco is offering entirely free. 75 delicious desserts. It's yours for the asking. Just write to Nabisco, Box 700, New York 46, New York, for those 75 tempting recipe suggestions featuring your favorite Nabisco bakery treats. The address again is Nabisco, Box 700, New York 46, New York. Thanks, you. That's wonderful. Hey, I'm going to read that right now. Yes, I am. <laughs> I thought I said it pretty good. You did, Fran. I'll be back in a minute. Fran, 
I, I heard I heard Dolores singing. Was she singing songs all mm -hmm. by herself? Gee, maybe she could be in and do duets with us sometime. I think she might very well. You think she could? She she sings in a strange register. You know, I wish it's, she could. Uh, it's pretty high, but it's pretty. You know, our friend Leo Lerner. Remember Leo Lerner? A good oh, friend yes. who publishes those wonderful newspapers here in Chicago. He wrote such beautiful stories. Wonderful stories. And he is celebrating his 25th anniversary today. Maybe we could, if we could just get Dolores to sing, maybe she'd sing a little something in special honor of him. You think she would? Well, maybe she would. We don't have very much time left, but maybe we could do, say, one verse or so of uh, Lavender's Blue. One verse? You think we could do that? All right. Dolores, come here, dear. Would you like to try this? You just sing dilly dilly. Dilly 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 dilly. No, 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 you wait. There's a time for it. <coughs> Lavender blue. Dilly dilly. Lavender green. Dilly. When I am king. Dilly dilly. You shall be queen. Who told you so? in a big chair in front of the fireplace. You may have one. If you're good. That's right. You know, if you're very good, I might even let you sing sing our little closing thing with Fran. Do you think you know that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The book, the book, the book, the Let's try it, Jack. You speak very clearly. The Nabisco seal on the outside means better flavor inside. Kutla's got the right idea there. The right way to start the day is with a big energy breakfast of Nabisco shredded wheat, sugar, and milk. Here's real honest eating for sure. Nabisco shredded wheat is pure whole wheat, packed with vitamins and minerals, important energy to help you through till noon. Bring home a package of Nabisco shredded wheat next time you shop. The picture of Niagara Falls means the original shredded wheat, America's finest ready-to-eat cereal. And now, don't forget that handsome new illustrated booklet Nabisco is offering entirely free. 75 delicious desserts. Yes, it's yours for the asking. Just write to Nabisco, Box 700, New York 46, New York, for those 75 tempting recipe suggestions featuring your favorite Nabisco bakery treats. The address, Nabisco, Box 700, New York 46, New York. The musical director of Kukla, Fran, and Ollie is Jack Fascinato. The producer is Beulah Zachary. The director is Louis Garmovitz. The costume designer is Joseph Lockwood. And the technical director is John Natalie. Mmm. With Bert Tolson. Wonderful Kukla. Mm. <laughs> Kukla, Fran, and Ollie has been brought to you from Chicago by Nabisco, National Biscuit Company. Bakers of America's finest ready-to-eat cereal, Nabisco shredded wheat, and your favorite crackers and cookies, such as Oreo cream sandwich. <laughs> <laughs>